Energy in simple harmonic motion. If a particle is having a simple harmonic motion, then it has both kinetic and potential energy. Both kinetic energy and potential energy varies between zero and maximum value. So what we need to do, we need to find both the kinetic energy and the potential energy. So let's first find the kinetic energy. So we can write, thus the kinetic energy of the particle executing simple harmonic motion is given as K is equal to 1 over 2 mv square where m is the mass of the particle having simple harmonic motion and v is the velocity of the particle. As we know the velocity of a particle having simple harmonic motion is v is equal to negative a omega sine omega t plus phi. So what we need to do we need to substitute this value of v in the kinetic energy equation and if we do that we will write k is equal to 1 over 2 m inside the bracket negative a omega sine omega t plus phi whole square. Now if we square this term then this negative will be positive because a square of a negative is positive and then we will get 1 over 2 m omega square a square sine square omega t plus phi and we know that m omega square is k so we can write kinetic energy k is equal to 1 over 2 k a square sine square omega t plus phi and let this is our equation number one. Now let's find the potential energy so we can write the potential energy of the particle executing simple harmonic motion is given as u is equal to 1 over 2 kx square and as we know the position of a particle having simple harmonic motion is given as x is equal to a cosine omega t plus phi. Now let's substitute this value of k in the potential energy equation which is this equation. So if we do that we will write u is equal to 1 over 2 k inside the bracket a cosine omega t plus phi square. If we simplify further we can write the square of a is a square and the square of cosine omega t plus phi is cosine square omega t plus phi. So if we write that we will write u is equal to 1 over 2 k a square cosine square omega t plus phi and let this is our equation number two. Now what we need to do, we need to find the total energy of the system. So we can write E is the total energy of the system equals to potential energy plus kinetic energy. Now what we need to do, we need to substitute the value of potential energy and kinetic energy over here, which is basically equation one and two. So we will write E is equal to one over two K A square sine square omega t plus phi plus 1 over 2 k a square cosine square omega t plus phi. Now as we can see that 1 over 2 k a square is common so we can take that common and if we do that we will write e is equal to 1 over 2 k a square and inside the bracket we have sine square omega t plus phi plus cosine square omega t plus phi. Now as we know sine square omega t plus phi plus cosine square omega t plus phi is equal to 1 because this is the identity of sine and cosine. So we can substitute this value of sine square omega t plus phi plus cosine square omega t plus phi equals to one in this equation. And if we do that, we will write E is equal to one over two k a square times one, which is basically E is equal to one over two k a square because one times anything is the number itself. So our total energy is E is equal to 1 over 2 k a square where k is the spring constant and a is the maximum displacement on both sides of the equilibrium which is basically the amplitude. Now let's grab the potential energy and kinetic energy together with the total energy. So if we do that we will get a graph something like this where this blue line is the potential energy and the green line is kinetic energy and this line which is basically a horizontal line represents the total energy of the particle executing a simple harmonic motion. So now let's talk about the time period. So when the time period is t over 2 then the potential energy is 0 and the kinetic energy is basically the maximum value of the kinetic energy and in the same way for time t and 3 over 2 t. Now if we combine these two equations basically kinetic energy and potential energy and try to graph together we can also graph it like this where you can see the amplitude is negative a 
to positive A and this is basically the equilibrium position and this graph is basically a parabola which represents the kinetic energy and this graph is also a parabola but it represents the potential energy and sum of both the two energies are this line which is basically a horizontal line that represents E which is basically equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy and this is how we will define the energy in simple harmonic motion.